Guys, this is a video that I want your input on, and I think you'll see why as I work through this. A man was arrested last Wednesday as video surveillance emerged showing him opening fire in a Manhattan, that's New York, in the subway station uh, in what officials are calling outrageous and a reckless attempt to thwart a robbery. Hmm, a woman was getting mugged and he took action to stop it. But let's get into whether or not he was incorrect. My name is Jared, this is Guns and Gadgets, and on this channel we discuss everything related to the Second Amendment, no matter where it happens, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, from legislation to litigation, which this will end up in. And if you are interested in this topic, then subscribe to the channel down below, like the video, share it, and turn the bell notification on to all notifications. Let's get into this story, because a lot of people are talking about this. Over the weekend, I spoke with a few friends about this, and I figured I'll do a video because this warrants further discussion. Because nothing we do, especially when we utilize a tool to defend ourselves or others, it is not cut and dry and black and white. Let's get into it. Uh, let's get into it. John Rote, 43 years old, from Astoria, New York, was taken into police custody on Wednesday at his Manhattan uh, place of employment shortly after 2 p.m. Why? Because somebody recognized him as the person in the video, the surveillance video, who had opened fire on a homeless man who was trying to you know, rob a woman's purse on the platform. This all took place at the uh, Times Square station on Tuesday night. Okay, so that's the scenario. You got a, a homeless person trying to steal the purse of a woman waiting for or, or getting off of a subway train. And uh, this person, Mr. Rote, decides he's going to engage. Now, according to the New York Police Department, NYPD, Rote, who has no prior arrests, was charged with criminal possession of a weapon, criminal possession of a firearm, reckless endangerment, and menacing. Now, these are sufficient charges that, should they stick, will make him a prohibited person for the rest of his life. Now, the video shows Rote spot the mugger, who NYPD identified as 49-year-old Matthew Roche, trying to forcibly steal the purse from a 40-year-old victim. Now, Rote slowly takes off his backpack, reaches inside to obtain his revolver, which he then raises and fires at the off-camera uh, mugger. He then yells at the mugger while inching closer before firing a second shot, and then charges toward the thief with the weapon still in hand, according to police. Now, nobody was struck by either round fired. I remember with every round you fire, there's a, an attorney attached to it. New York City Transit President Richard Davies said this, quote, I want to be clear, we don't tolerate this kind of conduct in NYC transit, period. Once again, cameras recorded a perpetrator, and we are grateful the NYPD made an arrest within hours. Thank goodness nobody was hurt here. But what occurred was outrageous, reckless, and unacceptable. I guess it's acceptable for the bum to rob people on the platform, but... You know, two wrongs, they'll make a right. As for the mugger, he was known to police and was arrested within minutes of the shooting, and he was also charged with attempted robbery. Now, who turned in Rote, the gunman? An unnamed acquaintance, according, according to NYPD, uh, recognized Rote from the surveillance video and called New York City Police. Guys and gals, why did I do this video? For a few reasons. As somebody who has been training in firearms for several decades, and who has trained hundreds of people in that time period, we need to know when we can use deadly force in defending ourselves or others. You absolutely need to know that and have a working knowledge of that. Train, train, and train some more. I just got back from Thunder Ranch last week, where I took an urban rifle class, and on Thursday, uh, I'm heading up to, uh, to Valor Ridge to, again, to train with Reed, uh, Reed Hendricks, for a, a pistol class. Train, train, train. You're never, ever, ever, ever competent enough to give it up. It's a perishable skill. 
know when you can utilize deadly force. You have to believe that your life or someone else's is in grave danger from serious bodily harm or death. And you have to articulate that. I also suggest looking into USCCA because if you are in a situation and you are doing it correctly, you're going to need someone to help you throughout that legal and uh, the following proceedings throughout that legal process. USCCA.com slash GNG. Check them out down below. What do you think about this scenario now that the video is out? What do you think of uh, Mr. Rote's actions? I really want to see what you all think down below. I can't wait to read your comments. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun. To, to, but know, what, know how to use it, know what you're doing, and when you can uh, deploy it if need be. But keep you, yourself, your friends, your community, your neighborhood, your loved ones, keep them safe, guys and gals, because nobody is coming to save you. I'll see you on the next one. Subscribe to the channel down below. Take care.